New York, business grocery store shelves across America are wiped clean, and they're staying empty as stores struggle to quickly restock everyday necessities such as milk, bread, meat, canned soups and cleaning products. Disgruntled shoppers have unleashed their frustration on social media over the last several days, posting photos on Twitter of bare shelves at Trader Joe's locations, Giant Foods and Publix stores, among many others. After contending with two years of a pandemic and supply chain-related problems, grocery stores still aren't getting the break they had hoped for. Rather, they are now confronting a host of other setbacks. As the highly contagious variant of the COVID-19 virus continues to sicken workers, it's creating staffing shortages for critical functions like transportation and logistics, which in turn are affecting delivery of products and restocking of store shelves across the country. Albertson CEO Vivek Songkaran acknowledged that products are in tight supply during the company's earnings call with analysts Tuesday. I think as a business, we've all learned to manage it. We've all learned to make sure that the stores are still very presentable, give the consumers as much choice as we can get," Song Karan said during the call. Even so, he added, Omicron has put a bit of a dent on efforts to improve supply chain gaps. We would expect more supply challenges over the next four to six weeks, Song Karan said. Grocery stores are operating with less than their normal workforces, according to the National Grocers Association, and many of its members have less than 50% of their normal workforce. While there is plenty of food in the supply chain, we anticipate consumers will continue to experience sporadic D. In fact, labor shortages continue to pressure all areas of the food industry, said Phil Lempert, an industry analyst and editor of From Farms to Food Makers to Grocery Stores, it's across the board, said Lempert. During the pandemic, these operations have had to implement social distancing protocols and they're not really built for that and it has impacted production. And as the pandemic continues, many food industry workers are opting not to return to their low-wage jobs at all. An ongoing shortage of truckers continues to slow down the supply chain and the ability of grocery stores to replenish their shelves quickly. The trucking industry has an aging workforce on top of a shortage, Lempert said, 